Hi, this is Phil Hilfiger uh, speaking to you from Paris, France. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of some major editing tasks within Reaper as part of the uh, week two assignments for intro to music production by Loudensterns at Coursera.org. I'm going to jump right in. We don't have a lot of time. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is right here I have a bass track. I'm going to select uh, my audio element here and I decide I want to trim off this first section so I just move to the far left my cursor changes and I can bring that in uh, to where it needs to be um, if I decide I want to uh, separate the track into multiple parts I just bring my playback cursor uh, to the position that uh, is right for that I can zoom in a little bit the easiest way to do that in Reaper is using arrow up to zoom in arrow down to zoom out and I press S for split or separate now I had all three tracks selected so that's not quite what I wanted I go back using control Z and I just select the element in question bring back my cursor to where it needed to be that should be quite right in here and um, by pressing S now I have my separate separate two elements and I can move this second uh, part around freely to another track if I should like to do so. Something that pops up right there is if I would like to combine two elements there of bass lines together uh, Reaper will automatically apply a crossfade um, and this is an option of course in the program so you can enable it or disable it. The shortcut would be Alt X or you can use this icon up here to enable or disable the crossfade. I find it useful to have it in automatic mode um, I can just go in and change the length of the crossfade. You see the wave shape is changing as I adjust that. I can take it out completely if I don't need it. Uh, I can change the shape of any given fade by right-clicking and choosing the shape that works for me. Um, if I want to merge, let's say I have found what works in this first comp track right here. I'm just going to select first element, hold down shift, select the second element, and I'm going to right click and select glue items, which corresponds to merging uh, in Reaper. So once I do that, a new WAV file is created. Of course, this is a form of uh, destructive editing, excuse me, and um, I have a new WAV file that has all my edits uh, included. Um, I might want to if I do a similar operation down here, I might want to listen to just this uh, little element right here to make sure it actually sounds right. So I'm going to zoom in again using my arrow keys. Uh, by the way, I can use page up and page down if I want to zoom uh, vertically. So if I want to get more or less of my tracks in view, um, I'm going to click up in here, hold down the mouse button and move over to the region. I would like to hear. Uh, just place my uh, cursor at the beginning of the section and by using R, the key R, it will toggle the switch right here which is the repeat or cycle button and if I now play back the section in question it will just play back several times in a row until I stop it, this particular section and I can listen to it and make sure everything is in order. Um, I can use markers to indicate that kind of settings uh, or situations. So I can, for example, let's say this is the beginning of my bridge. Um, I can insert a marker right here by right clicking and I call this bridge. And there I have my marker for the bridge. I can name uh, markers this way. I can name, of course, tracks. I just double click in here and uh, change the name. I can do the same thing on the mixture view. Uh, so these are all uh, pretty simple procedures. If I want to have an even clearer look of what's going on, I can color tracks. I can right click in the track uh, area right here and decide my track color to be either a random color or picking a custom color. So random, here we go, in blue. Um, for this one, let's say I want to use something more defined custom color that so it looks good red and so I have all these elements represented thank you very much that's all the time we had have fun with the rest of the course bye now